Man, today's the day. People want to know. Step back. Chopping the hair off. <laughs> Stepping into the new man. Oh man. Come on, boy, with me. The man. boy just turned plant based, not a boy about to turn ball. And he's a new man in Christ, new creation, new eating lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? My boy doing new things. In the name of Jesus. Boy about to cut all this off. Mm -hmm. Y'all vlogging the vlogs? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, man. We go ahead, Rich. Vlogging the vloggers, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> nah, for real. That's how I be with the music videos. Like, <gasps> I need the music video. Right, can you show the music video? Yeah, you want to show them. I'm counting blessings on blessings on blessings. I'm right counting right. blessings on blessings on blessings. I'm counting blessings on blessings on blessings. Me and my brothers gonna make it to heaven. If I fall off, I still learn a lesson. Just my oh boy, no well cutting it off. It's a clip. He's just trying to see how dark I am. See how I look on the camera. He's just testing out the camera right now. To see if it's worthy. I'm about to talk about something very serious that a lot of people be shying away from. Oh, yeah. but something that I feel really like talking about. We're gonna talk about food. Oh. The power of food. Mm. Let's do so it. So we just been on this little journey. We've been chilling with Phil. You know what I'm saying? Getting in the scriptures, getting in the presence of God, talking about dreams and all that. But one thing we talked a lot about was food. And so we've been able to like go some days vegan and plant-based and see the difference. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel the difference though. Nah, food is very important. Like, I feel the difference. Do you feel the difference? Yeah, I do. I do. It's like when I, when I eat regular food, like chicken, meat, processed food, I feel more sluggish and more low, low energy. And um, when I don't eat like that, working out, drinking, drinking coconut water, eating oxy bowls and stuff like that, I feel like I got more energy. I feel like I, I, I push more. Man, I'm a great visionary, man. Yeah. So, I think it's very important that, you know, we take care of our health. And this is this is for us, too, like. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I really, really, really. And make sure y'all go tap in with my brother, man. He got an album out called Relationship with God. It's really, it really, it really talks to my, to my spirit. And it helps me and guides me, you know, musically, spiritually. Mm-hmm. So, these my brothers, y'all. These are my brothers for eternity. I say that, but that's not no little thing to say. I'm gonna know these brothers forever. And like, we chilling now, and this life's temporary, but I'm gonna know these brothers forever. We're gonna be able to be in heaven and be like, yo, you remember when we was chilling? Like, oh, you remember we was debating whether vegan food was the best food, or <laughs> yeah, we gonna be in the kingdom drinking living water? <laughs> 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 no, that's just like that. Hear me, hold on. Take us and bring us to a shelter, and then like, wow, bro. Yeah, 
I think bro, that's why I was like I feel like God put it so we can show other people love. I had best of best of both worlds. I had my dad was in the NFL, so we, we had the rich part, we had the broke part. But we almost we was almost filing for bankruptcy. And my mom got sick. Like my mom got sick, she didn't want to go to the hospital because we were so about to be so broke. If she goes to the hospital, it'd be more bills top on that, and we couldn't do it. So she was not wanting to go to the hospital because of that. Like that's how like it was getting crazy. Like we kept moving from house to house to house. And my my dad had money, but it was more so like it was like from it was from the NFL, but then stocks when the nine eleven happened, I got my stuff out. Like. Uh. My dad was the best, but he was like stock pressure, so he was taking a lot, but he was making a lot of bank, but after that jump, then boom. But we were still good, but as soon as the hospital bills came in, boom. We started to move, uh, move to this, uh, move to this crib. Then we moved to the crib right across the street, because we couldn't afford that crib. Moved to boom, and we kept going like all over. And it was like all I remember being a kid bro, and then being able to go play ball. Yeah. And I never had like no male figure that was going to take me and teach me, bro. So I was doing everything known. I would go to the boxing gym, I was paying that. I was working like at the age of 13. But I remember being young, bro, going to play ball and I would have to like literally like save up dimes. Mm. I'll be playing with like 15 dimes in my sock just so I get like a gear eight after I play. Or like sometimes I, I would have no bread and I'd be playing ball. But we used to play ball from like, yeah. You know when you're young, from like once the sun rises, it's like be 12 p.m. all the way to like 9 p.m. Right, you still go on. And my little brother be on the sidelines, and I was, and he'll be looking for like quarters on the floor just so we can like get like a Gatorade or something. Or so it was, we we'd be like, Mom, can we grab some of those quarters that are there? Yeah. You know, sometimes it was like, yeah, sometimes it's like, nah, I need those. Yeah. Yeah, bro, so when I first came to God, it was like. I was like popped at first. I was getting broke because I had money from the trap. But then I started tithing, bro, doing what was right with my money. And then, oh God, just started blessing, bro. Ideas, especially with ideas. Ideas, finances, influence. And you just started blessing me, bro. And then at one point, I'm like, I'm gonna be the only business owner in my family. Like nobody in my whole family got a business. And the ones that did, like my grandparents had like cleaners and stuff when they were young, but it was mm -hmm. temporary. So I'm like, dang. I the generational curse in my family is kind of like being unfaithful. Starting something and not finishing. So I'm like, nah, I gotta finish. Mm -hmm. I can't just start and not finish. That's the thing, too. Like, when God gave us, when God exalt us, He did like to forget, too. Like, where we was at. Where we was at. Because you start looking at where you're trying to go, how far you're trying to go. You like, God bless me with 10,000. I need 20,000. Bless me with 20,000. I need 30,000. Like, you never be content. And I think that's the important thing. Like even me, like, you know, so I find myself like, you know, due to my situation, but it's like when I look back as I talk, I'm just looking back like damn bro. I was really walking in the snow just to get to work, bro, like boots wet in a job, working at Hello Fresh, and I'm working in the freezer, my feet cold, bro, like I came from that to this. So it was like I man, it's like I forgot like why I came where I just where I was just at. When you sit back and think on that back, you like and we like we talk about when we walk we like we still sometimes you just be down for no reason. Yeah. It's like bro, if you look at that at everything God done pulled you out of or did out, we be like we be tripping as humans. Not for real. Like God really be delivering. Because like, like we, we, we get so we get so sometimes as humans like we get so lost in like what we seeing. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Rather than like this, yeah, this too, like everything, like what we seeing, like the world. How the, how the world is moving, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, bro, God is God. God is bigger than all of this. Like, it's like, I don't know, I don't know why it's like that. That's why I'm like, you're calling the same thing. Same thing every time, time, bro. That's why I be so trying to get so like, spiritual with it, with being in the spirit with God, because it makes you look at things different. Like, bro, this is just, we just passing through. Like, we need to get whatever God needs to be on this That's earth. Right there. You know what I'm saying? And then you look, all this other, all the other famous or celebrity this and that, bro, they don't be temporary, bro. There's some of the other stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? We just pass it through. Not saying, like, it can't be great or nothing like that. Nothing wrong with that, but it's like, you look in the spirit and look at all this stuff, it's like, it's cool. It's cool to have, but it's like, we got heaven at it, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Might as well do what we need to get done on this earth. That's how I be looking at it. That's what really be humbling me. Yeah. Cause you like, you've been the 